All right, so this is the catapult I built here. It's um, made out of wood. Basically, it's pretty simple, like Mr. Johnston's. You turn the ropes down there. Over here, you have a little bit of a firing system. You pull this pin out like that, and it'll make the arm go up really fast. And we're gonna be shooting a small little basketball here. It's in the sling, and when it gets to the top of the swing, this rope comes off and releases the ball. So, let me set up the tripod here. It's a different soccer ball that I shot earlier. So here it is. And as you can see, that's pretty far from way down there where we started. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be shooting is, or are, two tennis balls and one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that when I actually pull this arm down here, it takes a lot of force. I have to practically hang on the end of it, and that's six feet away from the fulcrum, if you want to speak in physics terms. These ones will go far. The tennis balls tend to fire up lower and not arc as much as heavier objects do. Three, two, one. All right, so I noticed it was a little bit weak after that shot with the tennis ball, so I'm gonna torque it some more. Big bar like this. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna shoot is a lacrosse ball. I found this at school and it's pretty fun because it goes really far and it weighs a lot. You're probably not even gonna be able to see it. Alright. It went through two trees and kept going. It's probably somewhere way over here or not. All right, so the lacrosse ball is gone. It went that way really far, but I managed to find one of the tennis balls we shot earlier. So, so that's basically how it works. Um, it's a replica Roman catapult. That's about it. I was gonna fire some of these bricks. Like this thing is a big lump of concrete about four inches in diameter and it weighs a lot. And I have a pile of bricks over there that I usually shoot, but I tore the sling shooting those. So just for fun, we're going to do five tennis balls, and we'll see how that goes. Three, two, one. 